Hello YouTube. Well today I'd like to illustrate the differences between distilled water, reverse osmosis bottled water, and tap water. Now I bought a water distiller mainly because Akron adds fluoride to its drinking water. And fluoride is a no known poison. It's toxic, causes bone cancer, and other diseases. Now the first sample I'm running through is a gallon of distilled water I'm redistilling it just to show you that distilled water leaves no residue. See, there's no rust, there's no, there's no stains in the bottom of the chamber. Akron tap water, on the other hand, leaves a scary amount of residue. In fact, that's why I'm making this video, is because it concerns me. Now, Akron tap water leaves a rusty, gritty residue that actually has a bad odor. And you can see the sides of the chamber they don't bead water because it's gritty and rusty. Now as a third sample I thought well I'll run reverse osmosis purified drinking water through the machine to see what happens. I was kind of curious because I, I used to drink this stuff for years and I'm hoping it's not bad. Well after I ran it through the machine there's a little bit of white residue on the side that's hard to see. You can see the white residue on the bottom but it's not as bad as tap water. So let's recap. Distilled water, no residue. Bottled water, residue, not as bad, but it could be fluoride because reverse osmosis doesn't filter out the fluoride. But tap water, especially Akron tap water, heavy residue, rusty, gritty, and a bad odor. So please, if you can't distill your water, at least filter it. Thank you for watching my video.